So the Heritage Foundation a couple weeks ago, um, and some of you got lost their job over it, indicated that the immigration bill would cost this country over $6 trillion. Well, we all know the Heritage Foundation is not a credible source, but a credible source is the Congressional, the congressional Budget Office. Uh, and, you know, some, and they've been praised by everybody, including Iowa Senator Grassley, who is against immigration reform, but indicated that the research and the work done at the Congressional Budget Office is heavenly. So I hope that the Congress, the Senator is reading the report when they indicate that if we pass immigration reform, we will decrease the country's deficit by $197 billion over 10 years. Yes, I said it. The CBO has scored the Senate bill or SB 744, and it is indicated that if it does pass, it will decrease the America's budget, it would decrease the budget deficit by $197 billion. By the way, the report also indicated that between 20, 20, by 2024 and 2033, it will also cut our budget deficit down by $700 billion. So not to mention the fact that 11 million people will be able to come out of the shadows. And not to mention the fact that students that have come to this country at no fault of their own and students that, that want to pursue the American dream will have the right to pursue the American dream. But on top of that, the American government is stated, they slated to make almost a hundred and almost two hundred billion dollars in profit off of this. This is a win-win for everybody. For all those deficit hawks, why aren't you being hawkish and passing this piece of legislation? Huh? Ask yourselves that question. Why aren't all the people that promote deficit, reducing the deficit and cutting spending not advocating for immigration reform when the CBO, right, the creme de la creme of scoring government projects is indicated this bill will decrease the deficit.